Secretary of Homeland Security John Kelly in his first This Week interview since joining the Trump administration. Good morning, Secretary Martha, Kelly. How are you? Good to see you. I, I, I want to get to this breaking story. I know you don't want to talk about the investigation, but do you think back channeling is normal and acceptable? It's both normal, in my opinion, and acceptable. There's uh, any way that you can communi communicate uh, with people, particularly. Uh, uh, organizations that are maybe not particularly friendly to us is, is a good thing. And, 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 and again, it comes back to whatever the communication is, comes back into the government and shared across the government. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not a bad thing to have multiple uh, communication lines to any government. Using their equipment in their diplomatic facilities? Well, again, don't know. Um, uh, all, I don't know if all of that is true. I would just say that uh, any line of communication to a country, particularly a country like Russia, is a good thing. And again, it comes back into even using the their equipment. And uh, I know you don't know I, that if, whether yeah. that's true or not, but I would say any, any. I mean, using their equipment that, that you know that would cause you to be uh, that that communication uh, would be uh, considered to be you know kind of somewhat compromised. But the point is. That any line of communication to a country like Russia is a good is a good thing. Let me say though, Kushner was not yet in government, didn't have a security right. clearance, and was working potentially at cross purposes from people who were still in office. Yeah, I don't, I, and, I don't and, know that. To and be the, and case. the Russians had just meddled in our election. Yeah, I don't know uh, that to be the case. But the point is, uh, during the transition process. To open uh, channels of communication uh, with any country, um, back channel f up front is is a good thing. Even ones that meddled in our election. I would just say any uh, any line of communication. I mean, you consider that as as uh, as you uh, interact with them, but any line of communication is a, is a good thing. Why would uh, somebody like Michael Hayden, who was director of the CIA, and I know he has been a critic of President Trump, but he knows a lot about these things, why would he say, as we said before, what manner of ignorance, chaos, hubris, suspicion, contempt would you have had to have to think that doing this with a Russian ambassador was a good or appropriate behavior? Why are you so at odds yeah, with something like that? You know, and Mike, Mike uh, is a great guy, uh, but I, I just say uh, any, any information flow into the government uh, and then considered uh, by the government, I, I, don't, I, I won't criticize that. I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, you consider it in terms of uh, whether it's reliable, but uh, um, uh, all of these lines of communication are, are you know, a positive thing in my opinion. Uh, you just have to assume, like in this case with the Russians, that it's, uh, it's uh, constructed in, in a way that uh, they're trying to get you to do certain things. But the, at the end of the day, it's not a bad thing to have lines of communication across the uh, spectrum. Okay, I, I want to move to the, the U.S. threat level after the attack in Manchester. It is Memorial Day weekend. You said this week that we should expect a lot more attacks like the one occurred at that concert venue in Manchester. Authorities are paying, Homeland Security is certainly mm -hmm. paying more attention to these soft targets. But what can really be done at places like that to protect people? Well, Don't they just move to the next software? They do. Uh, you just have to be vigilant. You know, it's, 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 it's trite, but uh, people should understand if they see something, they should say something. Uh, since I've been in this job 100 and, I don't know, 25 days, 30 days, I have called my counterpart in the United Kingdom three times to offer my condolences for terrorist attacks, three times um, in 120 in, you know, days. Um, this is uh, nonstop. Um, they are out there trying to hurt us every day. Uh, the good news is for our country, uh, we have not suffered anything like this uh, from external threats since 9-11. Uh, that goes to the uh, effectiveness of our military overseas, our CIA, our uh, NSA, and, and at home, DHS, local law enforcement, FBI. Um, but it's relentless. It's nonstop. Uh, they're trying to hurt us every day. You, you said something this vigilant. week al along those lines. You said if you knew about terrorism, they'd never, if people knew about terrorism, they'd never leave the house. That is a right. very frightening statement. Are things getting worse? I wouldn't say worse. I'd say the same. Um, but again, Martha, it goes to this issue of we have unbelievable men and women protecting us every day. You know, they, we talk about the 1% in the military. 
There's an, about another percent uh, of people in law enforcement, DHS, FBI, uh, that are just, uh, they never sleep. We never sleep. What concerns you most right now? Aviation? Aviation. And, and we have these airports testing out, uh, taking basically all large electronics out and putting in 10 airports, including LAX, and, um, and why those particular airports? Well, because the, um, the TSA people that are looking at those bags as they go through the, uh, uh, the, uh, the scanner um, can't see exactly what's in the bag. So now, because this stuff so uh, so full, uh, now, uh, in, in terms of uh, the uh, TSA process, they will uh, ask people to open their bags so they can look inside. So it, it has, has to do with how much is stuffed in the bag. And, and, and just to be clear, I, I do want to go to the, to the countries where uh, laptops are banned. That may spread to other points of departure, Europe possibly, because of the threat? It, it could, but, you know, based on what we did uh, on the 21st of March, that's when I put that, uh, that protocol in place. Every airport around the country is, okay, what, you know, United States, Kelly, what can we do uh, to raise the level of security so that we don't have to go in that direction? So we're having unbelievable cooperation from the Europeans, the Middle Easterners, the Asians. Um, so is, we're de very definitely going to raise the bar in terms of uh, baggage security. And, and, and I just want to close on, on the matter of intelligence sharing. The, the British basically temporarily cut off intelligence sharing after mm -hmm. the pictures of the device were shown in the New York Times and also the bomber's identity. Right. Your reaction to that and, and should those leakers be prosecuted? It's outrageous that that was leaked. Uh, I, as I um, mentioned before, uh, immediately after the bombing, um, contacted my counterpart in the UK uh, for the third time in 120 days and offered our nation's condolences. And she rightfully then said, thanks for that, now the leak. It's outrageous that those kind of things are leaked. I don't know why people do it, particularly when it's classified, particularly when it's ongoing. The, the, uh, um, the event is, was still really ongoing. I don't know why they do it. It's just outrageous. I, I have to say that President Trump has constantly criticized the leaks as well, but he reportedly revealed some information to the Russians that came from Israeli intelligence. Former government officials who previously worked for George W. Bush, Elliot Cohen, uh, and Condoleezza Rice called the act appalling. If accidental, it, it would be a firing offense for anyone else. If deliberate, it would be treason. Um, allegedly what the president said. It's my understanding uh, the, the White House has pushed back and said he didn't do that. So I'll take him at his word. On sources and methods, I think they've said. Which... I'll take the president at his word. Okay, thanks very much thanks for joining Martha. us, Secretary sure. Kelly. Good to see you.